different. It'll stick sort of with like irritation where it will be like cement if you use talc. So now I've gone full circle and I'm back to the bobby pad. So okay. <laughs> that's my evolution. <laughs> so two papers I want to draw to your attention. Okay. One paper out of Korea, 1,400 patients, 11 hospitals, randomized to... 1,400 patients? 1,400 patients. Okay. So randomized to half of them got a bleb resection and they covered the staple line with fibrinogen glue. Okay. The other ones got pleuridesis. Okay. There was no difference in the recurrence rate in the two groups. So no need to do any pleuridesis. Exactly. I think so I buy that. So that's, that's one paper. In fact, and one year follow-up, the, the group with the fibrinogen uh, glue on the staple line had 5.8% recurrence versus an 8% recurrence in the pleuridesis. Mark the time. Right now, 3.45 <laughs> p.m., I have changed my practice. Okay. I, I, because I do always wonder, if we solve the problem, why do we need to do this pleuridesis thing? Now, here's the second question. Okay, go ahead. Okay, the second paper is from Beijing. 300 patients. 300 patients in which it was pleuridesis or no pleuridesis. No difference. Okay, so two studies showing it. So one study had fibrinogen, fibrinogen glue. glue. Yeah, but who knows right? if that makes a difference. Exactly. So here's my question. Are you going to change now based on that? Yeah. He has already yeah. as, a <laughs> minute ago. Yeah. as in one minute ago. <laughs> I love changed. it because I hate the pain they have afterwards. It's the reason Todd puts on these global casts so he can adjust his practice. <laughs> <laughs> My nurses in the operating room are going crazy. Well, Dr. Harmon, would you change your practice? Uh, I, I have done it without pleurodesis uh, and just, just the plebectomy. I love it. Well, there you go. I'm excited. Who's, who's going to change? Come on. Nope. You're going to change? You're half chill, you wimp. You're going to change? No? <laughs> Still like, do like, pleurodesis. Like <laughs> You're going to change? I'll, I'll ch I'm happy to change. I'm going to do fibrin glue. Why not? It's a... I don't. I mean, I guess they're like twenty minutes and right? then shoving the thing in and out. This is great. It's more the they are in such excruciating right. pain. And, and, you, you and I think, I think the key to me is is that if there is a study, and I don't doubt you. I mean, there's a study with fourteen hundred patients. patients. That's more than a type two error kind of thing. Right. This is you real know, data. there's probably real power to that. Yeah. yeah. I can do a single site thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Axillary cord and a three millimeter stab. I've got a video for you. That's not single site. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So I think we'll stop. We'll on stop. That, that yeah. was awesome. You changed our practice. That's enough. I would stop right there. <laughs> that was my goal. We tell you the yeah, right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay.